if you all know, and Kate and I were roommates when Kevin came down for the first time. I knew that they were going to be together forever, and I thought to myself, oh my God, there's two of them. I'm just so happy that she has found someone to love and cherish her the way Kevin does. Kevin, you're a wonderful guy. I just knew you were the one. I just wish you both all the love and happiness in the world. One of the most beautiful expressions of love ever written was written in the book of Ruth. She said, do not urge me to leave you or turn back from following you for where you go, I will go. Where you lodge, I will lodge. Your people will be my people and your God shall be my God. Where you die, I will die and there I'll be buried. Thus may the Lord do to me and worse if anything but death parts you and me. These words express the kind of love relationship that we pray to find Anna Kate and Kevin's love. The phrase, where you go, I will go, talks about being together physically. The phrase, your people shall be my people, talks about being together emotionally. The phrase, your God shall be my God, speaks about being together spiritually. And finally, where you die, I will die, speaks of being together permanently. This is what real love is. It's physical, it's emotional, it's spiritual, and it's permanent. Father, and I don't want to move forward without praising you. And I pray that our marriage, Lord, will be all about you always. Father, I thank you for all that you've done. I thank you so much for Anna Kate. Lord, she is the most remarkable human being I've ever known. Lord, the most selfless, the most giving. <laughs> I don't deserve it, but Father, I thank you so much for your grace, Lord. I love her. I love you. I thank you so much for everything. Thank you for this day. May all the glory be yours. It's in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. God's heard the covenant that you made with each other today. Everyone here has heard it. Each one of you have heard it as well. This family that's established in this moment is your main priority behind your own personal relationship with Jesus been said that a good marriage is not a gift but an achievement you have to work at it day and night my challenge to you guys is to make Christ the center of your home and your family and your marriage which I know you'll do so having placed your faith in and expressing devotion to each other by the authority entrusted to me through Jesus Christ the church I now pronounce you husband and wife and what God has joined together. Let no man take apart. Kevin, you can kiss your bride. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce to you for the very first time Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Taylor. actually very excited that Kevin was here because if you all know Anna Kate and I were roommates for about two years 80 days 67 hours and 22 minutes 
at which point I started renovating a house and at which point she had a meltdown because she thought we were going to live together forever as old maids. <laughs> I knew that they were going to be together forever, probably that December when Kevin came down for the first time. And I thought to myself, oh my God, there's two of them. <laughs> and it has been on ever since. But I wish y'all the best. You're gonna have a great life. And I'm gonna be right there if you step it away. <laughs> you for the second time this evening, Mr. and Mrs. Kevin Taylor. Hey everybody, I'm Melody Jacks. You know, Anna Kate's just one of the most wonderful people I've ever met and truly a sister to me that I never had. I'm just so happy that she has found someone to love and cherish her the way Kevin does. Kevin, you're a wonderful guy. I just knew you were the one. I just wish you both all the love and happiness in the world. Romans 12:10. be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Congratulations to both of you. Here's a love, laughter, and happily ever after. I love you both very much.